Welcome to this high intensity resistance training session where we are going to work with our dumbbells. So you're going to bring a set of dumbbells and an exercise mat, good shoes and some water. This session we have six exercises. We're going to do the exercises one after each other for three rounds with the work frame of 45 seconds on and 15 seconds for the next exercise. Alternative between a pulse exercise and a strength exercise. When we've done this, the th six exercises for the three rounds, we have a short water break, and then we're gonna move on to a 30 seconds of a pulse exercise, straight on to a 30 seconds a strength exercise but not using the dumbbells just on body weight and then we're gonna have a pulse exercise and a strength exercise so we have four exercises working for 30 seconds straight into the next one and we're gonna do that for four rounds so the first block is gonna be three rounds and the second block is gonna be for four rounds I will guide you all the way of course and make sure that you do this session with the best possible quality take care of yourself push yourself a little bit out out of that comfort zone so you feel your heart beating and you are working at as hard as possible all depending on your part on your fitness journey you will get there just make sure that you get everything with you with the good quality so go and get your equipment we'll do a short warm-up and then we're gonna finish this session with a stretch so you got it all in one in this full body workout so welcome to workout by AC yes we are ready so start out by stepping out to the side and we are going to push our arms forward and bring them back again. So starting from the top, chin is in, shoulders down, engage your core and your pelvic floor. And then we're going to move in a good bit of a position here so we get affected on our breathing. Just warming up shortly so we are ready to do the workout itself. Keep on moving from side to side, hands above shoulder level and pushing up and back down. And you can always go with a little smaller of a movement or else you're just gonna kick it in. So squeezing, pushing up and pulling down. Keep moving, but now we're gonna step up two steps. So two from one side and back again. Lifting that chest up, single arm going out, single arm going back. So lifting up and bring it back. Good with some coordination. Then next time we're gonna go sink, double up, and then we're gonna stay here. And we're gonna go both arms. So single, single, double up, single, single, double up. Let's go and move your arms so you're focused on the movement and you forget a little bit about the breathing so two more times lifting up getting out and getting back in double arms and we are gonna stay here and we're gonna stay with a little bit of a position here bring right leg and left leg pulling down so you're gonna squeeze the muscle between your shoulder blades they have a nice tall position and bring those arms back so you can feel it working up the muscle around your armpit and of course we're going to warm up our legs and squeezing back for another eight and seven keep that chin in let's hit it for another four and three Heel come in here, arms are coming in front. So heel toe up. Get a good mobilization in your ankle joint. That's where the movement start as well. And flexion and bring toe up too much the sky. We're gonna tap that toe in, swinging arms. Open in your shoulder belt. And stay up still in that good alignment here. So your, all your vertebras are built up on top of each other. Stepping in both arms, lifting up, make yourself a little bit taller. So up on those toes, be affected on your breathing. And we're gonna go for eight and seven, six, and hit it off for four and three, two and stay in center here pushing back into a squat maybe you want to have your feet knees and hips in a parallel position maybe you want to open up a bit 
you're just gonna try what fits you the best and every time we're down we're engaging our core your pelvic floor and chin is in so no kicking back with your head stay in that good nice position and we're gonna do that for eight squeezing your glutes is not gonna happen by itself you need to be focused on what's going on and finally four bring it up and back again and two more and one final one we're gonna go down here but we're gonna move it up and straight arm back slowly down hand supporting on your thighs bring it back and get that nice rotation and chest stretch open up slowly down squeezing backwards and one final one here and loosening up so hopefully you got a little bit of stiffness out of your body and you are ready to go along with me so the six exercises with the work frame of the 45 seconds and 15 seconds for the next one and we're going to start out by a sumo jumps one whoops so dumbbells you can either do like me or you could do it like this so you're going to open up your knees and your hips and we're going to keep those shoulders back and we're going to move it down here you can rest a little bit on your thighs so you are easing off your back and we're going to go down here and we're going to jump up and we're going to do that for the 45 seconds then move on to a strength exercise which i'm going to show you in that 15 seconds of a break before we move on but i'm going to reveal that's going to be a push-up renegade row so doing something with our upper body so alternative between the strength exercise and the pulse exercise so you get affected on your breathing working with those efficient interval training so make sure that you are walk, working yourself up that hill and a little bit down towards the valley without all getting down so bring it up and bring it down so we are gonna get it into that good uh, interval training session my timer is gonna go off here and it's gonna uh, count down from 10 seconds today i took the sound of the beeper some of you like it some of you don't so i'm just gonna shuffle up between that doing a little bit of each. So bring it down and lifting up. But I will let you know when and about where we are gonna move on to the next exercise. And you can follow along on the screen with the, uh, with the countdown, bring it up. If this is too much, you can practice by going down as far as possible with the dumbbell or you can do the jump squat with no the sumo jump squat with no dumbbell at all so whatever fits you the best and you know what if you start out by doing this and you feel the lack of quality it's getting too much you can just leave the dumbbell down and then you're gonna move on yes those 45 seconds bring your dumbbells right underneath shoulder belt and we're gonna move down and bring one arm up and back again and of course you can do it on your knees so let's go slowly down engaging your core try not to move around with your buttocks keep that straight position so we are engaging our core as well so looking down bring it up or as mentioned before you can go down here lifting up and move on to the opposite arm keep on for 14 seconds so as you can hear i'm still affected on my breathing from the sumo jump squat moving into a strength exercise but not as hard as doing the uh, pulse exercise as well so you are going to come up here and you're going to do uh, bring your shoulders back the leave your dumbbells out and we're going to do a burpee bring it out no push up we just had that one two and one down to the squat out to the plank bring it up again so good position here and if you don't like getting your head down you can do some narrow jumps here getting arms up and down the most important thing is that you get don't get dizzy sometimes it can be good to push your dizziness a little bit 
to get better at doing stuff without getting dizzy, but you know you, and you're just gonna do the best possible you. So if that's not working for you, getting that head down, keep on going, and then you're just gonna do the narrow jumps. Five seconds, squeezing, lifting up, and here we are. So I'm not gonna make sure to be your timer. We're gonna do a reverse lunges, alternative leg, with a biceps curl. And we're gonna do that in three seconds, two and one. So again, some of you might like the sound on and some of you don't. So squeezing your glutes, 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 your glutes as you get up to position. So bring it back and down. What you can do else, you can do the reverse lunges, come back in here and do the biceps curl if doing both is not working for you. So you can go down here and bring it up. Or as shown before, curl as you curl your legs. Five more seconds, equal amount on each side. Bring it up and back and rest. Dumbbells out to the side. And we're gonna do some high knees, moving in and moving out again for the 45 seconds. Three, two, and one. So bring them out, back in again using your arms, or you can do an alternative, lifting up and bring it out to the side. So always good to have your active in your upper body. So bring it out and bring it in again. Make sure your chin is in, your chest is up and open. Out to the side, in again. Inhaling and exhaling. Go for the modification. You can push it as hard as possible in the beginning, if that's possible to do it all the way through. It doesn't matter as so long as you get effective and pushing yourself the hardest possible you. Yes. We are gonna go in for a triceps tabletop position. So put your dumbbells on top here, hands on here, and we're gonna bend and straighten. So bending up. It's just a little bit of a movement here. The important thing is that your hands and fingers are pointing forward, your shoulders away from your ears, so not lagging in stability here. Keep on if you know the exercise. And then we're gonna move down to a flexed position in our elbows and up. And get up here and feel that squeeze in your triceps before you're gonna go down again. And connecting with your core. So this is a triceps table top pump. So up and down for five more seconds. Three, two, and one dumbbell out to the side. We are gonna bring that one single dumbbell for the sumo jump squat, or maybe no dumbbell at all, because we are back for round number two. So going down and lifting up. Put your arms right here on your thighs for some support. <sighs> lifting up and bring your buttocks back. Preferable to um, about 90 degree in your knee joint. So if you could go further down, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that it works for your knees. So either dumbbell up here or leave it be. You still keep your chest up and you are gonna be affected on that breathing for another seven seconds. Bring it up, slowly down, four, three, two, and renegade row, push up. Bring your dumbbells, both of them, hands underneath, and engaging your core, ready to do the push up and the row. Single arm, of course, and here we are. Bring it down, and squeezing, lifting up. So no one no, your nose is pointing down, slowly sliding down, bring it up again. And you can always go on your knees 
and keep that stable position in your core so you're not moving around with your hips 10 more seconds get equal amount on each arm bring it up and come up here for the break oh and we're gonna go in for the burby I don't know if you can call it 15 seconds go from one spot to the other one a break but that's a rest in between burbies here we come 45 seconds bring it up out again for the plank position reaching squatting planking squatting jumping up so as you're moving yourself upwards you got to inhale you got to keep that air within jumping out from the squat to the plank position bring it back up and then you're gonna move forward i often see people stand with a little bit of space between their feet it's not going to work very well when you're going to go all the way into the squat keep that hip distance between feet up we go bring it back inhale exhale three two one and dumbbells for the reverse lunges with the biceps curl so either you do the lunges first and then you combine them with the biceps or you do it at once so this is for the one where you combine it up and going down or maybe you want to go back center and bring arms up so you do what fits you the best so this one is a little bit easier than doing the curl and the lunges at once <sighs> squeezing on top <sighs> inhaling and exhaling <sighs> try and get into that 90 degree in your front leg pushing off with your heel and here we are so we are going to go for high knees in and out shoulders down and do the best way possible three two and bring knees up and bring them in and bring them out to the side so lean back a bit and if it's a bit too hard to do that bouncing pad, you can go up and bring those arms up and getting in still. So doing the exercise as close as possible to the original one, then you will slowly, smoothly, maybe go for 10 seconds here. And then you're gonna go for 15, 20 and voila. Then you gotta go for the full 45 seconds when you return to this session. Chin is in three, two, and bring dumbbells up on top for the tabletop, triceps pump. So fingers point, pointing forward, shoulders are down. You can practice in this in the rest period. Up we go, and up and down. So flexion extension in your. So make sure it's not your feet or I mean your legs or your hips moving up and down and your arms are just staying put you need to be focused on doing the flexion and extension to get your triceps the back of your arms into the game so relaxing your lower body it's just going to move up and down because we are bending and straightening our arms shoulders away from your ears feel the squeeze in your triceps four three two and here we are back for exercise number one the sumo jump squat final round for this one shoulders back and let's hit it off three two and we are moving up and down chin is in so with no sound on you can always just have a little bit of a look to the side of your screen and you can see the watch just moving on with no beeping on so keep it on for your final round here 
So what I usually say in class is that when you jump, for example, with seven kilos or 15 pounds, if that's what you're using, then it's always a good reminder not to gain weight because if you gain seven kilos or 15 pounds, this is gonna be much harder. Three, two, and one. Running in a row with the push-up final round. So engaging, squeezing, and just get a good squeeze in everything. But do, let's go. Relax in your face, squeezing, lifting up. Yeah, of course, if you feel challenged, you will get a little bit of a movement in your face as well. Bring it up, slowly down, put that dumbbells back where it came from. Ten more seconds. Squeezing. And one more. Here we are. Yes. Dumbbells to the side. Let's hit it off. One final round of the burby. And we're going to jump up and touch the sky, the ceiling. Two and one. So burby is a great exercise. It's one of those full kind of full body exercise. Of course, if you put the bur the burby with the push up on, which is original a burby, then you can get a maximum of a full body. But we just did the push up, so we're just gonna focus on getting short of breath. So keep it on going. So sometimes I see people they take a lot of time to go down with the push up or the push up here. So that's shorten the effect of the, um, the pulse exercise with the burpee with no. I hope it makes sense. Three, two, and one. Yep. And we are ready for the reverse lunges with the biceps curl. So what I was about to say is that when you do the burpees with no push up, let's go. Then you can focus a little bit more on getting short of breath. So bring it up and down again. But of course, if you manage to do a burpee with the push up full power on, that is of course the primary path, path to go. <sighs> Squeezing slowly down up to that center position. <sighs> and bending, straightening, chest is up. No falling forward. <sighs> Eight seconds, equal amount on each leg. <sighs> yes. Break and final round for the high knees in and out. So two more exercises before we have a short break. Four, three, two, and one. So bring it up, leaning back, moving arms. So our final pulse exercise in those six exercises. So we're going to get a little bit of water before we do the final part of today's session. So keep it on. So the great thing about working with a time frame is that you can do and push yourself the hardest you. So you can get a lot of people to do the same workout because some might get high and knees up and down for like 30 times and maybe some only get it for 20. It doesn't matter. Yes, final eight seconds, bring it up and bring it down and yes, here we are. So actually I cheated you for the break because I was talking, just jump right into it and move on. So sometimes that happens with me, I talk too much and the just the time frame just flies by and today I don't have a loud beeper to remind me 
when to start and stop. So let's hit it here for our final 15 seconds. I will make sure to have an eye on the clock so we know when to stop. Engaging core, five more seconds, squeezing your triceps. And here we are. We have the biceps in the lunges and now we got on the opposite place on our arm. So into this stop and you're gonna get a little bit of water before we move on. So cheers out there, or as we say in Denmark, skål. Nice, nice water. And as promised, we have our final part of this today's session. We are gonna go with high knees for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go straight into a squat for 30 seconds. Move on, or maybe rather said, move down to a mountain climber for 30 seconds and a push up for 30 seconds. And we're gonna repeat those four exercises for four rounds. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then the high knees, you know this, the squatting up and down, the mountain climber here and into the push up here. So you can do that on toes or on knees. You're gonna do the best possible you within those 30 seconds. And we're gonna go on and on and on for the four rounds. And then we have a nice stretch in the end. So you, got, you are ready, put your dumbbells out to the side so you don't get those in your way. And as I said, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So you and I are ready to do the high knees. We are gonna count down, or we are not, but the timer is five seconds, ready for high knees. I will let you know when to get ready for the squat. Let's go. So high knees, just up and down, no out and in, just up and down for those 30 seconds. So before we were working for 45, we cut those 15 seconds off. So push it a little bit how to feel your way. You know what exercises to do and you know the time frame. So bring it up, inhaling, exhaling. Seven seconds to a squat, no dumbbells. Three, two, and let's go for the squat. You don't have to count. You're just gonna be focused on the quality, pushing buttocks back, squeezing your glutes, your core, chin is in, arms forward, bring it up. And if you want to, you can go up on your toes, get those calf muscle in, and of course, a little bit of a balance challenge. Four seconds, ready to stay down and hit it for the mountain climber. So come along with me, mountain climber here. Look down, engage your core. So this is back to the pulse exercise. Inhaling and exhaling for another 14 seconds. So right after this one, we're gonna go into the push up and I'm gonna show you a different kind of modification. Three, two, and one. Straight into a push up. So you can go with the ordinary push up you can go down here, knees in, pushing yourself up, or you can stay put, but try to get your arms into the side. And you're gonna come, okay, still go for another 10 seconds. So in a few seconds, you're gonna go straight up and back to the high knees. Four more seconds, three, two, and get it up, in for high knees. Second round, so. Leaning back, engaging, I do the high knees here, or maybe some jacking on the spot. The most important thing is that you keep yourself affected on your breathing. So you do know we have a squat coming up in eight seconds. Inhale, exhale, get ready. Squatting now, squeezing. So this is a kind of a finisher. This is what you can do. Let's say you're on vacation or maybe you're just short of time one day. You still wanna do a bit good for yourself. Then you can do this. And you can go up on your toes. 
reaching up. Keep that chin in. In a few seconds for the mountain climber. And that is now. Bring knees up. Squeezing. Look a little bit ahead of you. And if you don't feel like have that head down, get up and do some jogging on the spot. You could do some jacks, whatever. Make sure affected on your breathing. 10 more seconds until we go for the push up. And five seconds. And in for the push up. So squeezing, engaging. Do a little bit of engagement here. Bring it up. Squeezing. Ah, oh, do the modification. That's the only way to become stronger is that you might try to do two push-up on your toes. Doesn't matter if you can do the full 30 seconds. Two, three seconds and up. Third round of high knees. So you are gonna push yourself. You are halfway with those rounds. So high knees, bring it up. Squatting coming up in just a few seconds. Inhale, exhale, pushing yourself the best possible. Another 10 seconds. Ready for the squat. Five, four, three, two. Distance between your feet. Let's go. Up we go. Back again. And keep moving. So it all starts up in your mind. You have no belief in how powerful your mind can be. I want to do this. I don't want to do this. So when it comes to working out, it's mostly not the feeling part of your brain you should use. You should use the rational part of your brain to get up and get going. Four, three, two, mountain climber, bring it up. So some of us, keep it on, are fortunate that we really get up in the morning and we are excited that we have to do a workout. We just got used to it. It's part of our day and we feel a lot better when we have done that workout. But maybe some of you have just started and you hope that you will get there. And I promise you, you will get there. But you just feel like you really have to force yourself. Three more seconds, two and push up. But until then, you get that greatness in your body, then you can feel that energy actually gives energy, you are going to take the decision of getting up and get that workout clothes on and get going and you're going to do that with your rational part of your brain and of course you're here so you did the good decision, keep up the good work, five more seconds and we're ready to get up for the high knees, a final round, so getting up here, so I'm just going to talk you through this, so just listen to what I'm saying and you're going to keep on moving with those high knees because this is your final round and I know you can do it, of course you can. You can do the modification, just whatever it takes. I mean, you should still take care of yourself and you know you're doing this on your own responsibility, but a lot of times we can do a lot more than we actually think we can into the squat. So bring it up, maybe up on your toes, squeezing, get your calf muscle in the job and squeezing and you get a little bit more a little bit more unstable and then you need to squeeze a little extra in your core and we always love a little extra 10 more seconds bring it up and back again four seconds and stay put for the mountain climb a final round squeezing bring those knees up Keep on moving. This is your final pulse exercise for today's session. So inhale new energy, exhale, blow out that worn energy and keep it on for another 10 seconds. Ready in a few seconds to do the push up. Our final round. Three, two, and let's go. Keep up quality. So maybe you see yourself hanging in your lower back then you're gonna go on your knees, continue. Or maybe you see yourself just doing this, not getting very far down, then it's time for you to get on your knees instead. 
So always about quality. You will get there, but do the like the rest of us. Take the stairs. There's no elevator to a good shape. Yep, beautiful. So timer to a stop and get some well-deserved water. And then we're gonna move straight into a stretch and you can hit it off for the day with the power in your body. All about power in mind and body. Pushing your hip forward. Maybe you need to support a bit. Maybe you wanna challenge your balance here. Get a nice stretch over hip and knee area. Just a slight bend in elbow so you're not like squeezing in your neck and chin is in and you're just gonna feel it in your right leg. The opposite leg is just a good straight position, no hyperextension in your knee and you have that good engagement in your core area. Of course you have, or I will remind you. And opposite leg, up we go. So um, if you're just doing the support up against a chair or a wall or whatever, and you just do it because you don't think about doing anything else, let go and see if you can challenge your balance here instead. You're only as good as you are when you practice what you're doing. So if you never challenge your balance, then it will slowly become weaker and weaker and Take my word for it, I work as a physiotherapist and that's what I often see. People lack of strength, cardiovascular strength and the balance and the coordination. So we're just gonna do it to prevent it. And come in here, slowly down, get a nice stretch in your hamstring muscle. Make sure that you have straight knees. Slowly down, getting of that stretch of your lower back, inhaling and exhaling. And you can always go when you're exhaling, go a little bit further into the stretch. <sighs> Chin is in, engage your core, and all the way we go, building up one vertebra at the time, moving up and hands up, and come back here for a bit of an extension. And maybe you're doing this in springtime, starting to do all different kinds of great things in your garden. You do a lot of forward bending and you forget to do some back bending and that's not good for your back. So when you've been doing forward flexion in your lower back, it's always a good thing to come and bring it back again here. Chin is in and we are almost there. Easing up. So if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload. I try to do it once a week. I really try to prioritize, keep doing it parallel with working full time plus. And it's always great to know that you are using the session out there. It just makes me want to go on. You can always put a comment and put a like if you found this session valuable for you. And until I see you next time, Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay strong. Take good care. Bye.